Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn computation of net tax liability under GST. So let us see how we compute net tax liability. Okay, this is the question. Mr. Mohan is taxable person under GST law in Mumbai. The details of transaction of supply during the month of March 2019 are as follows. They are given you some particulars in which you have sold goods, sold goods, provided services, provided services, purchased goods. Okay, thereafter they are given you the details of electronic credit ledger for the month of March 2019 is as follows. In which they are given you the opening balance, the balance of ITC on purchases and they have given you another purchase detail that is purchase office stationery rupees 1,50,000 at the rate of 12%. The question state compute the net tax liability under GST for the month of March 2019. Now, whenever this kind of sum is given where they ask you to find the net tax liability, your very first step is that you need to calculate tax on supply. So anything what you are selling or providing on that, we need to find out the tax. So now the format for calculation of tax on supply will be particulars where we'll note down the particulars of transaction, IGST, CGST and SGST. Okay, now let us see what are things we can note down here. First, sold goods, first, sold goods to Priya in Nasik. Now that is sales, so supply, it will come here. Sold goods to Priya in Nasik. Amount is 10 lakhs, on that we have to take 5%. Now, Mr. Mohan is in Mumbai. He is selling goods in Nasik. Mumbai and Nasik, they both come under the same state. So here, whatever will be the tax, it will be split up into CGST and SGST. So 10 lakhs per 5 person divided by 2 will be 25,000, 25,000. Next, sold goes to Ajay in Pune. Yes, that also will be noted down under tax on supply. Again, Pune, Mumbai, same state. Okay, so the tax will be split up in between CGST and SGST. 12x cut 12 person and thereafter divide by 2 we will get 72,000 each. Next provided services so yes it's a supply of service to Amit in Mumbai okay both of in the same state so yes it will appear here okay same state so it will get split up between CGST and SGST 25 lakhs cut 18 person divide by 2 which is 2,25,000 each. Next Provided services to Naresh in Delhi. Again, if it is provided, it will come here. Okay. Delhi, Mumbai, Delhi, two different states. So, whatever tax will charge will be un coming under IGST. 4 lakhs ka 18%, which come to 72,000. Thereafter, they are giving you purchase that does not come here. And later on, they are giving you purchase office stationery. Again, purchase does not come under tax on supply. So we total it up. So we get IGST 72,000, CGST got total is 3,22,000 and SGST is also 3,22,000. So that's the very first step, calculation of tax on supply. Next, we need to calculate ITC. Okay, that is input tax credit on purchase. Wherever you, whenever you purchase, whatever amount of tax you have paid, you can set it off against tax on supply. Again, the format remains same. We have particular IGST, CGST and SGST. There were two purchases. One is purchase goods from Mahesh of Chandigarh. Okay, Chandigarh, Mumbai, two different states. So whatever tax applicable, okay, the entire amount will come under IGST. So 13 lakhs for 12%, whatever is the amount will come directly in IGST, which is 15, sorry, 1 lakh 56,000. Next, you purchase office stationery of 1 lakh 50,000. Now they have not mentioned from where you have purchased. Okay, whenever there is no information about the place, we have to consider it is from the same local place. So same state, whatever tax applicable will be divided between CGST and SGST. So one lakh fifty thousand cut twelve percent, whatever amount will get split up into eighteen eighteen. Okay, there is no other purchases available, so we'll total it up. So we get one lakh fifty six thousand, eighteen thousand, and eighteen thousand as the total of ITC available. Step number one was calculation of tax on supply. Second is calculation of ITC. Third step, calculation of tax liability. Okay, format remains same. Okay, now see how we are going to do that. Very first thing we need to note down, you know, the tax on supply that we have 
got in the first step. So tax on supply, okay, that's seventy two thousand three lakh twenty two thousand and three lakh twenty two thousand less. Okay, the total of ITC. So ITC what we had got are one lakh fifty six eighteen thousand and eighteen thousand. Now this is the ITC what we found, but there is also one ITC given in the question. So less input tax credit on purchase, which is already given. That is fifty four thousand, fifty thousand, and fifty thousand. After that, so tax on supply less ITC less opening balance. Now we have got one opening balance of electronic credit ledger. So less opening balance of electronic credit ledger. That is five thousand, ten thousand, and ten thousand. So if we subtract it, okay, we can get either excess credit or tax liability. So in the first case, seventy-two thousand minus one lakh fifty-six minus fifty-four minus five thousand will get negative one lakh forty-three thousand. For the other two, you'll get positive two lakh forty-four thousand. Now wherever the amount is negative, it means it is an excess credit. Whenever it is positive, it is your tax liability. Now always remember the rule. If they have given you electronic credit ledger, you can set off the excess credit to the others. But if they would have given you electronic cash ledger, the sum would have got over here itself. However, in this case, they have given us electronic credit ledger, so we can calculate step number four. We can adjust the excess credit. Okay, format again remains the same. Okay, we'll note down the balances. The balances were one negative one lakh forty three. Two lakh forty-four thousand positive and two lakh forty-four thousand. Now the excess is in IGST. As per the rule, IGST excess can be used to pay off CGST and SGST. However, excess in CGST can only be paid for IGST, and excess of IGST can be only used to pay off IGST. So here in this case, IGST is negative, that is excess. So we can use it to pay off either CGST. Or SGST or both of them together at fifty percent, fifty percent. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll write adjust IGST for CGST and SGST. So full one lakh forty three thousand will divide in two parts and will you know deduct it from CGST and SGST. Now this is one way of solving. The other way, what you could have done was full amount of one lakh forty three thousand we could have paid CGST. Thereafter, we could have solved it accordingly. However, in this case, what we did is the total amount we divided into equal halves and paid it to CGST and SGST respectively. Therefore, after totaling it, we would get the final answer that is net tax liability under which IGST will be nil, CGST is one lakh seventy two thousand five hundred, and SGST is also seventy one lakh seventy two thousand five hundred. So, with this, the sum relating to net tax liability or calculation of net tax liability comes to an end. Thank you.